Hi, so today's video is brought to you by my latest MMF bisexual romance, Beauty and Two Beasts. And I will tell you more about this very new release at the end of the video. Until then, I'm thinking you probably tuned in this week to find out about the Bisexual Representation Award nominees. Well, that's going to be next week. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because on CBS there's a show called Madam Secretary. And last week after I posted, well, after I was planning stuff, one of the main characters came out in dramatic fashion as bisexual. And I wanted to give them one more episode, you know, the last episode of the season, to see whether or not they deserve a nomination for, you know, an award. So just to be fair, I'm going to push it until next week. But wanting to give you some bisexual representation this week, I've decided to do something I haven't done in a while, which is talk about bisexual coming out news. And this is going to cover for all of 2017. So let's begin with that list. The first person to come out this year came out in January and his name is Taylor Bennett. You might not be familiar with his name, but if you're if you enjoy rap and hip hop culture, then you are very familiar with Chance the Rapper. And Taylor Bennett is his little brother who is now standing on his own as a out and proud bisexual. Taylor, who just turned 21 in January, on the eve of his 21st birthday, posted this to Twitter saying, my birthday is tomorrow and moving into next year, I'd like to be more open about myself to help others struggling with the same issues. Growing up, I've always felt indifferent about my sexuality and being attracted to one sex. And today, I would like to openly come out to my fans. I do recognize myself as a bisexual male and have always openly supported the gay community and will keep doing so in 2017. Let me tell you, if, if you're a young male and you're looking for a role model, I want to tell you just how cool this guy is. Type in um, his name, Taylor Bennett, and 90, Hot 97 into YouTube, and listen to like his interview that he did. This dude has his thoughts straight, has his mind clear. He's a clear a person who understands business very well. He's well-spoken. And in the hip hop community, which has long been considered to be homophobic, uh, misogynistic, and all these things, this is a dude who's willing to stand up and say that he's different and say that uh, he is who he is. And he's doing it at such a young age with all the pressure of being some guy's, some famous guy's younger brother. Man, all respect to you, Taylor, and thank you for being your authentic self. And welcome to the cool people. <laughs> Next, we have a person who, if you watch the TV show Stranger Things, then you will definitely know because Shannon Purser played Barb on Stranger Things and now plays a recurring character on the CW's Riverdale. So how did this all come about? Well, um, there was some queer baiting going on on Riverdale when they had two girls kissing in the promo and it turns out they were just doing that to, I don't know, titillate the girls on on. Uh, cheerleading trials and someone posted how it was queer baiting on uh, Twitter and then Shannon kind of pushed back on that and then received an education on what queer baiting was and instead of like defending herself and saying something you know abrasive she replied with this I don't normally do this but I figure now is as good a time as any to get personal I've only recently come out as bisexual to my family and friends. It's something I'm still processing and trying to understand, and I don't like talking about it too much. I'm very, very new to the LGBT community. Shannon, I would like to welcome you, um, and I'd like to congratulate you on being your authentic self. You state that you are, you know, Christian. I assume that you are, you know, a firm believer. And so it might be hard to kind of reconcile your Christian beliefs with your bisexuality. But I'm I'm so proud of you being able to, being able to understand that being bisexual does not prevent you from following any particular religion or having any particular thoughts. So thank you for being authentic and welcome to the bisexual community. 
Now let's talk about the people who just came out this week as bisexual. And the first person on the list would be a woman by the name of Sarah Haynes. And you might be wondering who Sarah Haynes, if you are familiar with daytime talk TV, then you might already know who she is because she is one of the women on The View. Before that, she was on Good Morning America, and before that, she was on The Day Show. And although she didn't say the words bisexual, she did say this while the women were having a conversation about Harry Styles and his, his desire to not identify as bis his, excuse me, his uh, sexual orientation. She said this. I, I listened to this podcast called Invisibilia, which had a full episode on categories. We define our own safety in this world by what is me and what is them. So it doesn't make sense. Pansexual in our minds isn't something we can put in a box. But it's so I think it's more about wrapped categories. Wrapped up in religion. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember someone a long time ago asking me, you know, could you, do you think you could date a woman? And I said, I think I could. I think if I met the right one, I think I, think I could. And they said, oh, so you're bisexual. And I said, no, that's not. And it was they were so intent on defining you me by something. You could a woman. I think if I met the I right could marry one, a I woman. Could. Yeah. And just to be clear, so that it wasn't just like so everyone knows it just wasn't a flippant comment. When they were later on discussing like who they were attracted to when they were in the fifth grade, or sorry, when they were in the you know when they're five years old, well, she said this. But by but forcing but us to put a label on it, because if Sunny were to explore that, mm -hmm. I'm we can discuss, but if you were <laughs> open to exploring that, yes. her, her mind has to understand it by yes. saying, that would make me bisexual. Nope, not that. No, I'm very and confused here. Because like, okay, when I was in kindergarten, I looked over at Pablito and I was like, who? Pablito. <laughs> little Paul. Pablito. Oh, Pablito. Mm -hmm. his name was Pablo. Yeah, his name was pa Pablo. And I was like, ooh, he is cute. Mm -hmm. I never looked at Paulita and said, ooh, she's cute. But like, I never, but that's I never you. did that. But that's you. Yeah. So, but so there people are do other know people. What, yeah. they, what they well, are. Well, sometimes, you know. sometimes, you, you know. know. I know it. But you so, knew. Think about I, how many I was also attracted to Pablito. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Pablito was hot, but I looked at Pablita and, and I think she's cute. You know what he got? So Sarah, I know that you're married. I know that you are, you have a child. But I would like to thank you for being able to express your attractions and to be open with your viewers and your fans. Because by you saying that, you are reaching an audience that certainly I won't reach and certainly many other people won't reach. And for you saying that it's okay to be attracted to more than one gender means a lot to a lot of people. So thank you for being your authentic self and uh, welcome to the cool people. And then after her, if that wasn't enough, we had Aaliyah Shawkat come out as bisexual. And who is Aaliyah Shawkat? If you've watched the TV show Arrested Development, the cult hit, which is now currently on uh, Netflix, you'll know Cousin Maybe, who uh, Michael Sarah's character had a kind of creepy crush on since the beginning of the show. Well, that is Aaliyah Shawkat. And she also um, has, is the lead of a TV show on TBS called Search Party. And how did this all come about? In an interview with Out Magazine, Aaliyah said that I was a tomboy growing up. And I remember my mom asking me when I was 10, are you attracted to boys or girls? I said, I don't know. Now I consider myself bisexual. And I think balancing my male and female energies has been a big part of me growing as an actor. Aaliyah, Welcome to the bisexual community and gen, gen, a genuine thank you for embracing your authentic self. And then finally, this week, uh, if you watch the CW's The Flash, then you are familiar with Kit Flash. And you know the actor um, Keenan uh, Lonsdale, who plays uh, Kid Flash. And then just this week, on, I do believe it was Instagram, Keenan said this. I like to change my hair. I like to take risks with how I dress. I like girls and I like guys. Yes. Spent way too many years hating myself, thinking I was less valuable because I was different, which is just untrue. Not faking shit anymore, not apologizing for falling in love with people no matter their gender. I've become bored of being insecure, ashamed, scared. No one should feel like that about themselves, especially 
when there is so much good life to live. Keenan, thank you for being your authentic self. Thank you for being open about who you are. And welcome, my friend, to the bisexual community. So this week, or this, in the last couple of months, we've had two young black males come out as bisexual and an Arab woman come out as bisexual. The bisexual community is becoming more and more diverse, becoming more and more open. And if you are looking for role models within the bisexual community, man, it has never been a better time to be a young bisexual person. So now I'd like to tell you a little bit about my latest MMF bisexual romance, Beauty and Two Beasts. If you are a fan of Disney's Beauty and the Beast, then you're gonna like this story. While watching it, I actually hadn't seen it uh, ever. I hadn't seen the animation the movie. I hadn't seen the, the main movie until recently or the live action movie. And watching it, I couldn't help but think how much, how easily this could be an MMF bisexual romance where, you know, two guys are interested in each other and the girl. And I kind of reinvented the story with lots and lots of fun, um, sexy times. But not only that, fairy tales are what they are because they have morals that they were trying to teach the kids when they were written back in the day. And I did the exact same thing. One thing with this story, not only is it sexy, not only is it heartbreaking at times, not only is it sweet at times, not only is it a genuine, just wonderful romance, but you walk away with it kind of understanding about bisexuality and about who you are because you are bisexual. So please check it out right now if you're watching this on a Sunday. Uh, you will have one week to get this novel on um, iTunes, on Google Books, on Barnes & Noble, on Kobo and on Smashwords. But after, in one week, it will then move exclusively to Amazon, uh, where it will be in the Kindle Select program. And if you have Kindle Select, you know what that is. But if you are anywhere else, please check it out now um, before it goes to Amazon and then stays there forever. Um, so please check it out. Support the channel by checking out those books, or you can check out uh, my t-shirts on Teespring. You can follow me on Instagram uh, and you can follow the uh, Fluid Style Co. on Instagram. The links are all below. You can also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I don't do videos on bisexual topic on a regular basis, but I do, do it frequently. So if you want to know when a new video comes out, you have to click on that subscribe button and the bell that will let YouTube know that you'd like to know when a new video comes out. Until the next video, stay Cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler. And uh, check out Beauty and Two Beasts. I promise it'll be a really, really great and fun read. <laughs> Bye.